Visual perception is practically always on, certainly while we're awake and even to some extent in our dreams. Our eyes are constantly guiding our movements and informing our actions, identifying objects and patterns, constructing spatial maps and so on. Vision is such a full-time activity that we rarely stop to think about it. In other words, we seldom see our seeing. One of the curious things that becomes apparent when you start looking at seeing is that there are at least three dimensions of vision that most of us can register, three distinct ranges of perception. We could say these ranges are like planes or screens, one behind the other, whose transparency changes so fluidly we are scarcely aware of having moved from one visual dimension to another. The most prominent visual dimension for most of us, where we experience most of our visual activity, is the material plane, the hard copy world of physical objects arrayed in three-dimensional space. It's where we look to see if the roast is done, or pick out our kid's face from the back of the auditorium. It's how we navigate back to our car in the mall parking lot. It's where we stop and wonder at the beauty of a starry sky or the mist rising from a lake at dawn. Continuing with our metaphor of screens over screens, we could say that in front of the material screen lies the culture screen. This is the range in which we register the non-physical aspects of life, such things as someone's attitude, whether or not someone is appropriately dressed for an occasion, the relative state of something or someplace. While we assemble these perceptions from visual cues, we are actually looking at something that we construct internally, an object, often a judgment, held in the mind. This is also the dimension of signs and symbols in which we see meanings inferred from visual information. For example, we may be looking at the boxes and lines of an organizational chart, but what we see is the hierarchical distribution of power. And let's say that behind the material plane lies the range of perception where we can see the workings of natural laws. So when Newton saw that legendary apple fall from the tree, his eyes registered the apple, but his perception saw the law of gravity at work. This range of vision affords us access to what is essentially invisible. We can see the effect of gravity, but we can never see gravity itself. Because of this amazing property, this dimension is where we might glimpse the creative force behind all of manifestation. It's where we might enter through sight into a non-local, non-substantial, non-visual apprehension of the One. So let's call this range Source. While these perceptual ranges are radically different from each other, they are all accessed through vision. And so it follows that developing our capacity to see will deeply enrich our lives, extending our field of awareness and understanding of culture, the material world, and source. <laughs>